Right, we'll now look at an example of and get some odds off Betfair and we'll look to lay two outsiders in a horse race for a total lays of £30. That will give us big liabilities on those two horses. So to get rid of those we'll then lay some shorter price runners and uh, we will break even on those using the spreadsheet. Our total lays will remain at £30 throughout. Putting lays on those other shorter prices to break even will make our liabilities on the, on the two outsiders a lot smaller. The, the liabilities will be drastically reduced. Now our total lays will still be £30 overall. So if we don't hit the winner with any of our lays, £30 is what we would pick up. And um, if we hit, hit the winner with our our two outsiders, our liabilities will be drastically reduced and our other lays we will break even. OK, let's look at that in practice. Now here we are with a, a six furling, furlong selling race at Lingfield and uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. We may fancy that uh, the winner might come from the, the stalls one, two th and three close to the inside running rail. So we could lay the other runners. Now if we lay, um, there are only seven runners, so if we, if we target uh, six, stalls six and seven to lose for us, uh, we could also add stalls four and five to break even. So I put those in the sheet, we've got far away there drawn in seven, and Miss Purity Pinker drawn in six, I put those in the bottom. And I've put odds of seven and fourteen, I'll just alter that to seven two to match a bit fair. And up at the top here we've got Thorpe Bay which is in stall 5 and Majestic Rose in stall 4. And they're at 3, 2 and 6. 6 at the moment. And now you can see with the, with the total, total lay stakes of 30, um, if the winner comes from the first two in the betting we break even, up there. But if we do hit the winner with the ones that we targeted, we really fancy to lose, we would lose 46-45. So if the winner does come from stalls 1, 2 and 3, which we haven't got in our layers here, uh, we, we could pick up £30. OK, I'll just put those into Betfair and you can see that uh, these near enough 0 will appear against Thorpe Bay and Majestic Rose and near enough minus 46, 45 will appear against Far Away and Miss Purity Pinker. And near enough £30 will appear against stalls 1, 2 and 3, those runners there. They will be the ones that we're not laying. OK, I'll just go ahead and do that. OK, you can see I've put the odds into Betfair here now. And you can see down the right hand, left hand side here that against uh, Thorpe Bay and Majestic Rose we've got 0 or minus a penny. Against our two outsiders in stalls 7 and 6, we've got minus 45.95 or minus 45.97. And against the other runners, which we haven't laid, we've got £30 and a penny in stalls 1, 2 and 3. Now that matches up with the sheet more or less with zero break-even against the top two runners this, uh, in stalls 5 and 4, Thorpe Bay Majestic Rose, and minus 45.95 against our two, our two targeted lays, um, Fire Away and Miss Purity Pinker. So if we don't hit the winner at all, we pick up the £30 there. If we hit the winner with our target lays, we um, we lose 45.95 and if we hit the winner with the first two in the betting we just break even. Now I haven't submitted those in Betfair but I'll drag that across and you can just see that on the side there, there, there are the uh, the lays all set up there. The odds may, it may have moved while I've been doing this. Now if you don't have that if you don't have this red and green um, what if feature set in your Betfair screen, these, uh, this is the what-if feature. That can be set by using more options there. If you click on that, a little box comes up and you can tick what, what if and, and then do save and it will put this in for you as you place in your layers or your bets. You will get to see what will happen if you place those layers and bets. OK. 
Now if we did, hadn't uh, laid these two first in the betting, we would have had much bigger liabilities. I'll just delete those. And you can see now that if we just uh, decided to lay uh, far away and miss Purity Pinker, you can see we would have had liabilities of £114.33 and much bigger lay stakes of course to make up the £30. Okay, so that is by adding those other runners we stand more chance of uh, hitting the winner but uh, if we um, we can if we do hit the winner with our targeted lays our liabilities are greatly reduced.